Bombers do not make sense in War Thunder. Despite being some of the most famous aircraft ever produced, Gaijin tries to shoehorn them into a game mode that is not fit, and pretend like nothing is wrong with it. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This time, I want to talk about a problem. There's a good reason that I don't make very much prop content on this channel. While I do enjoy the combat itself more, it isn't just the new shiny jet of the month bringing in more views. Bombers slow down the gameplay of War Thunder exponentially. Instead of being in and out of a game, you'll have to spend an extra 10-15 to 15 minutes chasing down these bombers that have either sat at their airfield or are climbing into space after they've dropped their payloads. This leads to an extremely unengaging gameplay loop, as the vast majority of players are not too keen on wasting 10 minutes of their time either climbing for these bombers or ground pounding for a ticket advantage. And this is coming from somebody who likes bombers. Hell, I have an aced crew for both the B-17E models, however, the current state of ARB just doesn't support their existence. The fact of the matter is, a bomber is not useful to the team in any way unless they play in a way that is extremely toxic. Once you drop your first bomb load, you have two choices. You either go back to the airfield and rearm while your team gets wiped because they're down in player count, or you can climb into space to avoid paying a repair cost and just wait out the end of the match. Now, needless to say, these aren't great options. One of the few advantages that bombers have is that they get the air spawn, so when you go back to land, you're starting from the deck, and uh, bombers aren't really known for their performance. I guess, unless you're the JU-288. Alternatively, there's space climbing, and there really isn't any reason not to do it if you're in a strategic bomber that doesn't go very fast. Your biggest strength is going to be your defensive gunners, so forcing people to be slow and up at altitude trying to climb up for you just puts them into position to be gunned down by your turrets. Learning to aim these defensive turrets so you can protect yourself is an important skill. However, I don't think it should be the majority of the gameplay that you get from playing a bomber. Because you play a bomber, well, to bomb things. There's a very simple solution to this problem though, that's the most frustrating part, is that Gaijin has done it in the past as well, but just refuses to run alternative game modes than the mess that is ARB. Now, I wasn't around to play this in the past, so my details might be a little fuzzy. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there was a game mode where you could play as a formation of bombers, and you would be escorted by fighters, and the enemy team had to intercept you. I don't know about you guys, but I would love to have a game mode like that. Not only is it a lot more engaging, but it also brings benefits to the bomber pilots themselves that they had in real life, like safety and numbers. However, Gaijin's refusal to add alternative game modes to play really brings down the gameplay experience. If you play top tier as well, you know that ARB and during confrontation would be such a great addition to the game as it lets people choose whether or not they want to play EC maps but it's yet another situation where Gaijin just refuses to add a game mode that they've already run in the past, because Gaijin does not care about the player experience as much as we want them to. As long as they're making good money, our opinions are second to premiums. Okay, they don't want to add extra game modes. We can suck it up and deal with it. What can they change to ARB right now that would make a big improvement to the bomber experience? Well, in my opinion, it's adding aerial rearming. Bombers right now are so limited in their gameplay because you only have your one bomb load for the most part. You go out, get your one, maybe two bases, and then after that, there's nothing else for you to do. This isn't just a change for gameplay either. If you set the aerial rearm point to be around 2,500 to 3,000 meters, you'll simulate the experiences of how bombers would constantly be going in and out of battle, running sorties all day. 
Instead of running the same bomber back and forth, it's more akin to a new bomber that's already been climbing into battle, and thus would take away the pain of having to climb in your bomber after rearming, or just being complete dead weight after your first bomb drop. It wouldn't be completely uncounterable, as if the rearm point is low enough, there's fighters that can just climb up to you and try and intercept you. But also, you're not dead in the water if a fight devolves to the deck, as you can still fly over people. Well, a lot of you are probably saying right now, I don't play bombers, how does this affect me in a fighter? Well, if your rearm point is in the air, you're not gonna have to deal with airfield campers. And having the ability to rearm without it being a complete death sentence drastically discourages people from space climbing. Meaning, if the last person on the enemy team is a bomber, there's a very likely chance they're just chilling at like 2,000 to 3,000 meters altitude, and this gives you the chance to intercept them before they can get too far away or too high, while also giving the bomber pilot typically just enough time to get their bomb load off before you get to them. However, that would make the grind easier, and uh, we know how Gaijin feels about that. This would have a ripple effect as well into the sim community, where they've had problems in the past with AFKers and zombie bombers. People who are only there to grind, not really interact, and just drop bombs without doing anything. If instead we had a dedicated game mode to it, or even just rearming an RB in an easier method, then it would encourage these players to interact more with the rest of the game, instead of just going AFK until they can press their spacebar and then turn back for the runway. The sad reality, though, is that Gaijin doesn't care about bombers because they're not going to make as much money. Think about it. What's going to sell better? A new $70 premium shiny jet that they can advertise, or a bomber that has point A to point B gameplay, and isn't as fast-paced for the zoomers that play games nowadays. This is why all my videos are now going to be read by a bot and there's going to be Subway Surfers gameplay in the background. If you have any other ideas of how to alleviate the bomber problem, both for the bomber players and the fighter players, make sure to leave it on the comments as I'd love to have a discussion about this. That's all for this video, thank you all so much for watching, and remember to subscribe if you enjoyed it as I'm trying to hit 5000 before the end of the year. Other than that, that's all for this video, I'll see you guys next time, Buh bye bye